Hello everyone and welcome to another FX Centrum daily market analysis uh, for today. I will go through our cross asset list. So we'll cover coffee market, WTI, uh, US 100, US 30. We'll speak about the USDN, dollar Mexican peso, pound dollar, Australian dollar, euro dollar, dollar index, Bitcoin dollar, gold market, aluminum, cocoa. So I will start with the coffee market first. And of course, uh, I will use our FX Centrum platform uh, for chart, like a charting software so let's start with the coffee market so we had a breakout uh, basically like a six seven days ago and after that initial breakout market had this pullback but we didn't break still um, our a breakout candle so i will say 233.95 as um, as long that level can hold there is a still chance for a higher prices and there is a still chance that this pullback that this downside move was just a pullback so and that we can see upside continuation now in case of the let's say if we see the breakout of 233 or so then there is a chance for a market to trade lower towards 222 for example mark which is a lower ball in japan and the previous support zone now speaking of the wti we can see here that we had a lower high and lower low and on the rate of change we had uh, a new 20-day low so i see potential for the further downside development on the crude oil break of the lower ball in japan and the next pivot is 77.90 mark let's take a look at the hourly time frame you can see here a clear down break in just hull basically just sideways consolidation so there is a chance for lower prices and further downside movement on the crude oil on the us 100 we can see that market traded all the way down to the lower Bollinger Band on the daily time frame and the previous swing low. So this will be the key support on 19,481. You can stochastic is trading all the way down at this point. So um, only if market can break this support level and hold below, we can see further drop towards 18,000, let's say 19,000 mark. And if this level can hold, uh, we can see reaction up towards, uh, let's say uh, 20,000 mark which is like middle ball in Japan and, the, and this uh, previous swing high this, uh, from this day here. On the US 30, uh, we can see that market is just uh, had this sell-off. So there is a rotation back uh, down. Market went pretty extended into the two standard deviations and we had a rotation back. So still chance to, to for the test of this middle ball in Japan around We'll say nine uh, nine thousand nine hundred thirty-two, and previous swing high area is set at nine thousand seven hundred mark. Now on the USD Japanese yen, we can see that we had a downside move and down close below the lower Bollinger Band, lower lower Bollinger Band, which is a sign of the weakness. Still, we can see that there is a quite a big support around one fifty-five. I will say 30 by mark and as long as that level is holding there is a still chance for a higher prices let's take a look at the hourly time frame we had this down break this morning but i, I see the chance for uh for higher for higher prices rotation for rotation upside if the market can hold this downside move and downside break and if we see like a bear flag or so then there is a chance for the retest of 155.32 On the dollar Mexican peso, let's uh, go to the daily time frame. So we can see that the market is trading around the middle Bollinger Band. It's pretty flat. We have contraction in the um, volatility. Stochastic is showing upside. Uh, so there is a strength of stochastic oscillator. And let's take a look at the. Um, rate of change so we had this inside bar so if we can see the break and hold above 18 point well i see the potential for the retest of upper ball in japan at eight and eventual test of 1840 or even 1860 mark so let's take a look at the early time frame you can see market didn't have so we had a break of the lower ball in japan in the market established the higher highs and higher lows so eventual re-break of this upper ball in japan and so it can be a good sign for higher prices and then we have a pound so pound dollar can be quite interesting this week we have 
uh, potential for the, quite a big movement from my perspective. Now, in this example, market is just doing the consolidation here. So maybe after some consolidation or so, we can have a downside continuation. And this is something that I will, I will carefully watch for. So if we can clear the 1.2900 mark, we can have a further drop, maybe even all the way towards 1.2800 or even lower 1.2650. So now market is in a consolidation slash, um, you know, correction from this downside move from last week that I see potential. So pay attention also to the 1.2950. This can be a quite a big resistance level and good pivot level, 1.2950. So that area, you know, if we see rejection or so, you can see a, you can see a downside continuation. But of course, uh, stay tuned uh, if, um, if we see any opportunity or so, uh, we will post update and under the trade idea. So stay tuned. I'm not so sure if we can see the downside the continuation today or maybe like tomorrow morning or so in a day or two. But after this consolidation um, and after the completion of this consolidation, there is a chance for a downside continuation. So this is what will, what will be my first, my first uh, primary focus for this week. Now on Australian dollar, we can see the downside movement where it is trading around 0 0.6635, which is also lower Bollinger Band. If we can see the further downside movement, then the next pivot level is 0 0.6575. Look at the stochastic, uh, stochastic cost is sloping, both facet line are sloping uh, to the downside. And also we have a rate of change, new 20 bar, uh, new 20, new 20 day low on the rate of change. So really relative weakness on the Australian dollar and we didn't have any break and hold above the upper ball in Japan and are we? So basically one-sided trading sellers in, um, in control of this market. On the Euro dollar, we can see something similar like we had on the, we have on the pound. But if you take a look at the stochastic also that we have a quite a big divergence in the background. So we have one, two, three pushes up on the daily and a downside rotation. So there will be a chance for a further downside movement, especially if, uh, Euro, if the Euro can clear 0 0.8, uh, 1.0875, and the next downside objective will be 1.0850 and then 1.0800 mark. On the dollar index, let's take a look at the dollar index so we can see the reaction up. So seems like this downside move with the false breakout and the sellers got trapped at this point. We also had a bullish divergence on the stochastic oscillator, and there is a chance for rotation back, at least towards the middle of Bollinger Band an area around 10475, 10485 mark. Let's take a look at the hourly time frame. So as you can see here, we had a consolidation and the upside breakout, and now market is doing more like a consolidation. So if we can have a rebreak of 10437, we can see higher prices in the next period. So uh, pay attention to that potential development. Now we have a Bitcoin versus US dollar. We're basically trading around the upper Bollinger Band, and this might be the divergence on the stochastic oscillator. We need to see the market confirmation to the downside. If we can see the break of this pin bar low, so that is the 66,800 mark, then we can have a bigger drop from my perspective, even towards 63,000 mark, and then maybe even 57, 58,000 mark. So again, market is pretty extended on the daily time frame. Stochastic, stochastic is an extended environment. So pay attention to potential downside rotation to this one. Gold market had a down. So again, this is a similar example where the Bitcoin. So where is the Bitcoin? When the gold was at this point here, there was a downside rotation all the way to the middle Bollinger Band. So now short-term support is set at 2,388. Both fast and slow lines are trading to the downside and stochastic. So that's a pretty good uh, sign for the downside environment. But we will need, you know, to break this middle Bollinger Band, and that will be a good confirmation for the further drop towards 2352. Aluminium actually went all the way down to our downside objective. So we did spot this uh, perfectly, this break of this tight consolidation. It was a quite a big contraction at this point and a nice down break. And this market is still, sellers are still in control. 
And the next upside, downside of Jackie Perlin is set at 170. I'll set 174, 175 mark. And on the cocoa market, we have a quite a big contraction. So take a look at the daily time frame. So we have a volatility contraction. If the cocoa can break 665, or let's say like if the cocoa can break like a 580 mark, there will be potential drop for uh, even towards like uh, 550 um, or 179 mark. So pay attention to this potential contraction breakout in the daily time frame, and basically the breakout of this coil. Many times the breakout of that these contractions and coils can lead to the bigger directional moves. That will be all for this epic central daily market analysis. So stay tuned for more updates and for trade ideas and um, wish you a good trading.